Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. In today's tutorial, we are going to be learning about how to join a Zoom meeting through a web browser. No download will be required and no installation will be required. So let's make a start. Okay, so for you to join a Zoom meeting, the first thing you will need is the Zoom link, um, which should be provided by the host of the meeting or the meeting ID. All these details will be provided to you by the host. So I have sent myself an email with all the relevant um, details such as the meeting link and also the meeting ID. So I'm going to be using these details as an example for today's tutorial. So I am going to be showing you today two ways that you can join the meeting. You can use the meeting link or you can also use the meeting ID. Both ways you can join the Zoom meeting. The first thing I'm going to be doing is using the Zoom link that's been provided. So in my case, in my email account, you can see that this is not an active link meaning it's not a hyperlink. Um, in your case, it could be a hyperlink. If it is, you simply have to click on it directly and this will take you to the Zoom page. In my case, what I have to do, and in most of your cases will be the same, is we have to copy this link and paste it in a new window of the browser. So I'm going to highlight and copy this and then open a new window in the browser. And for your information, I'm using the Google Chrome browser, but it doesn't really matter which browser you use. You can use Microsoft Edge, you can use Opera, or you can even use Internet Explorer. It doesn't really matter. And also you can use Firefox. Those are the most popular ones. So I'm going to paste it in the address bar and simply press enter. When I press enter, I will get this message, but please do make a note that you will not get, the, get this message. The reason I'm getting this is because I have already got the Zoom application installed on my PC, and this is the reason it is asking me to open the Zoom application. So all I'm going to do is click on cancel, and this is the page that you will be getting, which is showing this button here that says launch meeting. And at the moment, you haven't got anything here. And this is what we are after. We will shortly get a message here that will allow us to join the meeting through the browser. So for you to get that section, what you have to do initially is click on this button that says launch launch meeting. So I'm going to do that now. Now again, I will get this simply because it will try to divert me again to open the Zoom application I have on my PC, but you will not get this. You will simply straight away get this little section here that says having issues with Zoom client, join from your web browser. This is the section that we need. So I'm just going to close this, but remember you will not get this. So I'm going to click on cancel. Now, the next step for you to um, do is click on this link here that says join from your browser and this will take you to this page where it is asking you to put your name in before you join the meeting. Now, please make a note that you do type your valid, your correct, your usual name here, because whatever you type here, the host and everybody else in the meeting will be able to see. So you should type your own name in there um, so you can be recognized in the meeting. I'm going to type in my full name 
And once I have done that, I simply have to click here just to declare that I'm not a robot. So I'll just take the box and then follow the question. So I'm looking for parking meters. I simply need to click on all the parking meters that I can see in these pictures and verify. Once you have done that, you will get a tick. If you do get that page wrong, it will give you another page and you have to get this right before you can move on. Once you've got it right, all I have to do is click on join and then this will allow me to join the meeting. So we have done it. It says, please wait. The meeting host will let you in soon. So the meeting host will get a message now straight away asking them to let you in. So they will admit you into the meeting room. You simply have to wait. So this is one method of getting um, Zoom or being able to enter a Zoom meeting using the actual Zoom link provided to you. So the second method of joining a Zoom meeting is using the meeting ID and the passcode. So if the host does not supply the direct Zoom link to the meeting, they may most likely supply the meeting ID and the passcode. This is what most hosts uh, tend to do. So we are going to be showing you now how to use the meeting ID and the passcode to join a Zoom meeting. The first thing we need is to go to the Zoom page on the internet using any browser. So I've just opened a new tab here for you and I'm going to type in zoom.us which is the address for the Zoom page. Once I have done that I will land myself on the Zoom website and this is where I need to click on to join a meeting using the meeting ID and the passcode. So I need to click on join a meeting. Once I have done that, you can see it is asking you for the meeting ID. So I've got them here. So I'm simply going to be copying and pasting them into the relevant boxes. So I highlighted, copy the meeting ID first of all, and I'm going to paste it in there and then click on join. So when I click on join, I will get this message again. You will not do so. So I'm going to cancel this. What you need is like earlier, you need this section here in particular with this button. I'm going to click on launch meeting and this is the section we are after. Going to cancel this. Remember, you will not get this. So this is the section you are looking for so please do make a note because without this you will not be able to join the zoom meeting through a browser you will have to download the zoom application and install it on your pc or your laptop so i'm going to click on join from your browser again like i did earlier and when I do that, I will land on this page again where I need to input my name before joining the meeting. So like I said before, please do make sure you type in your own name so the host can recognize who you are. And like I did before, I need to tell um, the computer or the web browser that I'm not a robot. I need to take that and this time I'm looking for mountains or hills. So any mountains or hills that you can see, simply click on them. I think these are the three I can see. Click on verify and you will get the lovely tick. Now you're ready to move on to the next section. So click on the join button and this will take you to the next page. Now you can see it's asking you for the passcode. So the passcode is here. I need to simply copy the passcode that was supplied to myself, um, right click and copy and then go to the relevant section and paste it in this box. Once I have done that, I will click on join and after I've clicked on join, it will take me directly to the waiting room where the host will be able to see that I am trying to join the meeting. So at their own convenience, they will admit me into the, uh, into the meeting room and I should be able to join the host and everybody else that is in the meeting room. So this is how you join a Zoom meeting through the web browser, either by using the direct link to the Zoom to the Zoom meeting provided to you or the meeting ID and the passcode. 
I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please don't forget to give it a like and share this with everybody. And uh, please do subscribe to our channel for all future tutorials and video lessons that I will be creating. And other than that, please do look after yourself and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.